see what I brought him? <laughs> Come on, Chief. This isn't no Boy Scout picnic. See, so you got your rubbers. <laughs> Here lies the buddy of Mary Lee. Died at the age of 103. For 15 years, she kept her virginity. Not a bad record for this vicinity. Die marker flares, safety float, temperature gauge, spear guns, SMG. What are you, some kind of half ass astronaut? <laughs> hey, Quinn, let it go. Hey, Hooper. Maybe a big Yahoo in the lab, but out here, just super cargo. If you don't want to backstroke home, you get down here. All right, you don't want to listen to me, don't listen to me. It's not a shark. Maybe a marlin. Or a stingray. But it's definitely a game trick. Oh! Game and fish, eh? Marlin, stingray, been through this piano way. Don't you tell me my business again. You get back on the bridge. Boy, that doesn't prove a damn thing. Well, it proves one thing, Mr. Hooper. Proves that you wealthy college boys don't have the education enough to admit when you're wrong. I value my neck a lot more than 3,000 bucks, Chief. I'll find him for three, but I'll catch him and kill him for ten. And you're gonna make up your minds. You wanna stay alive and ante up? You wanna play it cheap? Be on welfare the whole winter. I don't want no volunteers. I don't want no mates. There's too many captains on this island. $10,000 for me by myself. For that, you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Well, he'd been bitten in half below the waist. Noon the fifth day, Mr. Hooper, a Lockheed Ventura. So as he swung in low and he saw us, he was a young pilot, a lot younger than Mr. Hooper anyway. He saw us and he come in low and three hours later, a big fat PBY comes down and start to pick us up. You know, that was the time I was most frightened, waiting for my turn. I'll never put on a life jacket again. So, oh, 1,100 men went in the war. 316 men come out, the sharks took the rest, June the 29th, 1945. Anyway, we delivered the bomb. <laughs>